Hey guys, Affinity here. Wanted to uh, make a quick tutorial uh, going over my recent uh, Affinity UI changes with LVUI in particular and the RAID frames that I am using. Um, going to also show you how to install and make sure that you load all the proper profiles. Uh, hoping sometime uh, after 5.2 to include uh, reflux settings for it as well, which will uh, come later. Now, uh, one of the major changes to the add-on pack is that it no longer includes any of the add-ons themselves. I've included a list to all of the add-ons, uh, as well as a uh, link to the Tuck UI client, and uh, I recommend using the Curse client to uh, just make sure all of your add-ons are up to date. Uh, so when you are going to install this add-on, make sure that you manually download yourself uh, all of the add-ons listed on the add-on info page. Uh, that includes LVUI, LVUI DT bars, LVUI add-on skins, add-on control panel, bigwigs, uh, Hermes, which I don't have the uh, settings for in this uh, current release, but I'll have that fixed for the 5.2 release. Uh, mixed scrolling, battle text, SCADA, and weak auras. So we're going to assume that you've already downloaded it. I've got it on my desktop, and uh, I'm just going to extract it using my favorite extracting tool. Witty music here, and it's just going to download. And there is an interface folder. It only includes the icons, which is the icon pack that I use. Uh, so we're just going to assume that you have the add-ons themselves. So account, account name is going to be your account name, uh, which is doo -doo 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 in your install folder um, here. Uh, mine was this one. My main one was this one. So we're going to copy this and change the account name to that number. Server name is, of course, Illidan. And my monk's name is obviously Affinity with my priest name of Affinity. Whoa, look at that. I can't type. Affinity. So we're going to assume that you've already got your other uh, WTF backed up. Always back up your WTF. Always, always, always. And do it that way. Now, I'm only going to copy the WTF over because I already have my interface and uh, whatnot set up. So WTF is going to just drop into it and we're going to load up World of Warcraft. You know, change all your graphic settings, whatever you want. Uh, log into your account. Uh, type your password properly. Uh, load into your account. And make sure when you go to your add-ons, always make sure that load out of date add-ons is checked. Um, this really shouldn't be in effect right now, but uh, I just always have it checked just in case because certain things don't always play kindly. We're going to log in. We're going to wait for it to log in. And we're going to make sure that we load everything. Again, my Hermes profile is not cur Ooh. What broke? Something broke. Oh, no. Oh, that's weird. Uh, what did we do? What did we do? Oh, my God. What happened? Let's log out. Uh, that's weird. What did I do? Uh, shared media. I wonder if it's because I didn't have the shared media loaded. Okay, so make sure you have the shared media loaded. Uh, I don't know why that's not checked in there by default. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah. Okay, so now this is how it should look. Uh, hypothetically, let's say if it's not working this way, uh, you're going to want to, and like it's going to bring the install prompt up. Make sure that you run through the install prompt only if you don't see the UI like this. Uh, and then load the uh, heal me profile. You want the heal me profile. Uh, and you should get something similar to this um, with all of the options. Now, you are going to have to embed the SCADA itself, so you want to go under skins, scroll all the way to the bottom, and just make sure that the SCADA thing and embed right is checked. Hit the accept prompt and reload. Uh, Hermes, um, you're going to have to set that up. I'm, I'm going to hopefully include uh, an updated release just prior to 5... Well, actually, after 5.2. Whoa, that embedded in the right side. I've never seen it do that before. Or in the left side. Uh, oh, because I didn't hit embed right. I broke it. Okay. So yeah, make sure that embed right is selected, otherwise it embeds left. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, so yeah, I'll include uh, an update for 5.2 uh, in two weeks, because that's when it's releasing. Um... And that'll have all of those settings. So now the thing that you need to make sure that you do is go into uh, LVUI, 
And this is this is where it gets a little confusing because LVUI RAID frames that I'm currently using uh, has some weird filtering options. So the filters, if you want to change the position of where um, like your your renewing mist or, or any of your hots, like the position like left, uh, you know, left corner, right corner, bottom left corner, bottom right corner, that's all underneath the filters. So you're going to want to go to filters, buff indicator, uh, and then toy with it here. So like, you know, we've got uh, life cocoon, I don't actually have enabled because I'm not tracking that there. I'm tracking that in something called turtle buffs, which is like the tank cooldowns. Um, renewing mist, you know, just enable or enable, uh, disable. Uh, then your anchor point, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's got a lot of options in this. It's got, you know, your your top left, your top right, your bottom left, your bottom right. But then it also has like a, a top and bottom and then like a, a left and a right. So you've got technically three uh, on the left side, three on the right side, and then uh, one top middle and one top bottom to uh, to toy with there. So just make sure that you've got that where you want it to. Uh, the style is similar to uh, Voodoo. You've got a colored icon, which is based off of the color here, as is the text. Uh, you've got a text, which I like to use, and then you also have a textured icon, which is just the icon with like um, the little clock running on it, showing the, the timer left on it. So we'll leave that there. Uh, now it should, by default, it should load uh, things for your monk and your priest fine with this. I do want to also include the uh, the druid and shaman changes later on, hopefully in the 5.2 release, but you might have to uh, adjust those manually. Uh, now if you're going into this a little bit further, uh, you're going to want to take a look at things like turtle buffs. This is your tank cooldowns, basically. Uh, and it's got basically everything that you'll ever want to track. Avert harm, bark skin. Uh, there's some things you might want to disable that you don't want to show, like, you know, bone shield I really don't care about. Um, let's say, you know, you decide you don't want to show, um, what was the other one that I disabled? Sacred Shield. Oh, that's Roar of Sacrifice. That's not Sacred Shield. You know, Sacred Shield is on by default, so, like, I, I turned that off as well. You also have a limited priority functionality, which I want to, uh, get better functionality implemented with, uh, I'll, I'll let Elv know later. Uh, but this kind of similar, uh, this functions similar to the grid priority list, uh, where you can actually show a priority of it. So if there's multiples of it, it'll, you know, show what's ever higher priority. If you want to make sure the raid frames look like what they should look like, go into unit frames, click on raid 25, and click on display frames. It's going to show a whole bunch of penances. So let's kind of explain what the penance is. Uh, there's three across the very top of your character frame, uh, or, or each individual raid frame. That is... Uh, basically my Voodoo like raid debuffs, it's going to show uh, debuffs there, which is um, filtered based off of just a blacklist. If it's not on the blacklist under filters, then it's it's going to show up. Uh, and then the one that's like bottom center of uh, each individual frame is going to be the what's called turtle buffs, which is your uh, your tank cooldowns and your raid cooldowns and, and things that again under under filters turtle buffs. If it's here and it's enabled, uh, it'll show up there. So I do have uh, a profile set up for 10, 25, 40 is just like the same like area. It's just um, basically compact a little bit more, which I don't think you'll ever necessarily use in party frames as well. So you can obviously make sure that that all works uh, how you want it to work. If you want to go crazy, you can also change positions of things. Uh, you've got things including like your raid icons. You can toy with your raid icons. Uh, now it's got some position things, uh, so it's and then you've got an X and Y offset that's going to be based off of that. So left, and then you know your X Y offsets for that. If you do not like the power bar offset, uh, that's an easy one to uh, disable. Go under uh, like party frames, click on power. The offset default is five. You can you know set that to zero. Uh, you can set that you know to, to twelve or, or even twenty if you really wanted it to look really weird and spiffy. Uh, default is five. That is set for all the frames. Uh, other things are pretty, you know, straightforward. Uh, name, positions, top. It's got a text format. Uh, it's based on name color, so if you want to toy with any of any of that, uh, you'll see this pop up when you scroll over it. That'll actually basically tell you what each individual um, thing shows. Speaking of this, actually, I'm gonna have to uh, under name. I want to change the 40 man frames to be. Oh, that is name short. Okay, so that's fine. Um, Going back to this, then you've got more settings, uh, buffs and debuffs. Again, if you disable that, you're going to see that's just the turtle buffs. There's all these filter options. Uh, leave all of these unchecked by default, and then the additional filter just, it'll only show anything that's loaded in the turtle buffs uh, is how this functions. Uh, under debuffs, which is going to be the 
um, the ones across the top like I have in Vudo. Uh, this is set to only show anything that's not in a blacklist. So if it's not on the blacklist, it's basically inverted to the other one. Turtle buffs, it has to be in the list to show up on the blacklist. If it's on that list, it will not show up. So we have all of this, uh, the rest of it's unchecked, but you can toy with that if you want to, but that's how I have it set to. Um, and then everything else is kind of self-explanatory. Role icon, uh, raid leader, master lead, loot. Uh, I think I have that disabled on the raid 25 frames by default. Party pets, uh, I don't show. You can you know enable them if you really want to and toy with that. Uh, who cares, let them die. Uh, party targets, eh, don't have that on. And then raid, you know, raid icons, raid icon. And then again, you've got a size and an X and Y offset. One of the major things to make sure you have checked, uh, obviously, as I showed when I logged in, shared media has to be on because the status bar texture is installed in the shared medias folder because it's using a Voodoo texture, which I have manually loaded for you guys. Uh, so make sure that you have that loaded as well. So by default, if you use my Voodoo frames, these frames function exactly the same as the Voodoo frames. The only difference is you don't have your spells option um, to like bind, like right click to dispel or like the smart res or whatever. If you want uh, like functionality of click, just get the click add on that's not going to be built into Elf by default. Uh, just make sure that you are loading the heal me profile like there's all these other profiles that might be included in it But it's it has to be the heal me profile for the raid frames uh, To really show up now There's a lot of functionality that you guys can poke through and I'll probably make another video uh, with the 5.2 changes later uh, He's adding in a lot of functionality like group by he's also throwing in the out of range uh, arrow uh, That Voodoo has that is also built into the 5.2 changes uh, the plan is to have a 5.2 version released the morning of 5.2 or sometime thereabouts uh, Everything should work as is now as long as you update the add-ons um, without much of a problem uh, again, I do recommend using the Tuck UI client. Tuck UI client's awesome. Uh, I have VIP, which is basically premium, uh, but I gotta you know pat myself on the back because uh, I'm important. Yay! Uh, really, really highly suggest getting this to install that, and then obviously I use the Curse client to um, maintain all of the add-ons as well. That's it for now. I know it's kind of rambly. Uh, I'll try and have uh, more specific things regarding unit frames and 5.2 changes up in the near future as well. Uh, as always, you can you know upvote, downvote, follow me, comment, uh, etc. Here on YouTube, I'll also include all relevant links to the WoW interface link as well as uh, the stream, uh, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in stream chat uh, when I am streaming. You'll get a better response there than uh, in the YouTube comments. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was informative.